Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Java. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, Java is losing popularity. Why? Well, I think that this is a pretty good question. I would say that the short answer is that Java is not keeping up with the times and the reason why it got popular back in the day has less to do has very little to do where it is today. So if we go back a few years back in time, Java when it was under the management of Sun had a spurt of popularity and, and it rose pretty quickly but it did so not necessarily because it was the best language around it was a very good language and it still is a fairly good language even by today's standards but they did a lot of marketing like the Sun invested tons of money in promoting Java even if you go out and Google Java commercials you might actually see a few of the old commercials that ran that promoted Java so, I mean, think about that. How many languages today have TV commercials selling selling them? Like, there's not... Don't remember ever seeing any TV commercials for JavaScript or Go or Rust. But they actually did do this sort of thing. So, when you're pushing a language into popularity that much and then basically what happens is that Oracle takes over, uh, which is the case where we, we find ourselves today in. Then there is this problem with, and this is the problem that most software companies face, the times move on. And Java has been really, really bad at maintaining the most important thing that you can maintain when you're an IT company and this is the thing that Google does better than any other company I've never seen anybody do it as well it, it, when it comes to technical products and that is nurture the fucking community you have to get your your customer loyalty up to the highest possible level you need to need people to like emotionally want to use your stuff have you had a look at the religious sect that is C-sharp and the new and upcoming, which is basically Scientology, which is Go? Like, people love these languages. They fucking love them. And they will fight you if you say that these are not good, th good languages. And that's what you need. This is the sort of community you, that you need to build in order to survive over decades and decades and decades. And this is the thing that Java has never done. They have never ever done this because Oracle and the way that they manage Java is a very business oriented typical corporation way of working. And even Microsoft used to do this. Like they still had the cult type of thing back in the day in vendor locking and so forth. But they have started to see that the times are changing and things are moving towards these open source ideas. You can still, this is, and this is the thing that is so genius about this. This is the thing that Google understands. They understand that you don't have to have a physical restriction on the tooling to keep all of the people invested in your brand. You just have to make them love your product and the brand that you pre represent. And you can achieve this without having all these restrictions that just locks everything down just so, so that you don't have any risk of finding that somebody's gonna try something else. Let them try something else, a really good cult pretends like it allows people to try whatever they want and oh you're you're free to leave whenever you want but the the moment you try to rise above the crowd they will point you out and judge you for it or <laughs> i'm not gonna say go that far but they will make it in some fashion very either uncomfortable to move somewhere even though you have the choice or they're going to rope you back in with other means that is the way that you need to manage things and this is something that java does not do they have they, they are being left behind. They're not nurturing the community. They're not making sure that the new developers have good learning resources and an easy time to adopt the language. Most of the stuff that they have in terms of documentation, they have other cons like consultants, different people who basically are interested in the language to, to thank for. If you look at JavaScript, 
it's the same sort of thing, but they don't have a clear owner, but it's working out because they are, we have so vast amounts of people contributing to that shared knowledge base. Go has fairly decent documentation and nurtures their community in a very efficient manner. If you look at Ruby, they are probably one of the best communities in IT just in general. And these things do matter. They matter a lot. And then you need to continuously push new features and new innovations. And Java has done this to a point. Not that the frequent, like they have picked it up. They, there was a bit of a gap there between 1.5 and 1.7 and then 1.7 and 1.8. But now we're talking about 1.9 and like it's, like, so it's, it's, they have picked up the pace for sure. But the question is, is it too little too late? That I can't answer. But the, I will argue that the main reason why they are losing this popularity is because they are not nurturing the, the community in, this fas- in the fashion that needs to, needs to happen, pretty much. And they're simply not investing in the, er- in the areas that people are excited about. And they're, uh, honestly, if I didn't know any better, uh, I would suspect that Oracle is right now just trying to ride Java all the way down. Because the the slope for their, the popularity of Java has been falling steadily for a few quite a few years now. No indication that it's going to go upwards, and they're not really doing anything right now that that is moving in an innovative or new. There's no fresh ideas really in term. Nothing that is disruptive. Nothing that it seems to that's going to give them that boost back up. They are investing more. It seems to, seems to me into creating an ecosystem very similar to that of C Sharp, but for their corporate customers. And my guess would be that they're focusing on this because they know that they can't really compete these days with Google and Facebook and like the other big languages that are really popular these days. And instead of trying to compete, they're embracing, they're they're securing assets. They're trying to secure their position in the marketplace by making sure that the people the big corporations that are already invested in Java stick with Java and that's basically coming back to that idea as I said because that used to be how corporations worked in in general lock down your asset secu- assets secure your customers and then just make sure that everything stays the way it is so what I want you to take away from this is that at least from my perspective I think that the reason why Java is losing popularity is because the main reason why it became popular back in the day was because it was under different management and that management did actually push it like in a PR fashion. It wasn't just because the language was great. So people adopted it based on quite a lot of investment and it's been steadily dropping because under new management they haven't really nurtured the community and the brand of Java and the innovations haven't been coming out in the same frequency as for other products out there on the market. And today it feels like they almost have been, they always almost condition themselves to just accepting that they won't ever have the same sort of popularity that they once had. And they're not really fighting it at this point. It seems that they're simply trying to lock down assets and secure their survival rather than try to compete with the other languages. Have a great day.